So have you guys seen this thing on TikTok where they're talking about a girl who cut off her friend because she was doing too much? <gasps> yes. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> nah, I'll like show you. Is this thing? Yes, crap. Oh, dang it. Where'd it go? I just had it pulled up. I wasn't going to click on it because I never get into those um, like online drama, but it kept popping on my timeline and I was like, oh, I have to watch it now. <laughs> it is. How long is it? This one right here. So this girl... <laughs> Get ready with me while I talk about the ridiculous things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to me. For context, I've never ever in my life had to cut out a person cold turkey and I've never had to go through a friendship breakup because genuinely I feel like I only open up to the people that deserve my time and I end up loving them for a lifetime, hopefully. But this girl was just an exception. I am going to try my best to talk through all of this without freaking raging. The first one is not that bad, I guess, compared to the other things that she's done. But the day that she met my boyfriend, or like a couple days into it, she added him to her close friend story and just started posting the random TMIs on her stories, like a attention trap. Not even a thirst trap, it's like attention trap. And this was before my boyfriend and I started dating, but like everyone knew that we were into each other. This one kind of goes with the first one. She borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we we're all over at his house because she was cold. And then she took the hoodie home, which is fine, girl. Like, be warm, stay warm, don't get cold. But she continues to wear that hoodie for the next two weeks and posts all about it on social media. A picture of her in his hoodie. Which is, again, I can let it pass, whatever. Starts to randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes. Never heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand before. Never. Until she met my boyfriend. Spending hours getting ready to see him. Calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute. And that she could see herself getting along with him while we were already dating. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him so that he can take it to work. I'm kind of surprised right now because now that I'm talking about this, months after it actually happened, I find this hilarious. I'm not even raging anymore. I just think it's kind of funny how hard this girl is trying. Honestly, I don't blame you, girl. My boyfriend is cute. I just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning. Goodbye, and I wish you the best. Let me just clear up some misconceptions that people are having online about me. So I don't know if you saw the video yet, but there is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reasons behind that. And I am that friend that's been ghosted. And it's just so baffling to me that I had to find out this way when I have reached out so many times, desperately asking you what was wrong. The points that were made in this video three points that I remember. Close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. And it was not only him that I added, it was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there was a guy over there that she thought was cute. As her best friend, I'm gonna play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You guys should chatted up they chatted it up ended up going well so we went back to his apartment with him and his friends and me and my friends so we all kind of became like just comfortable with each other and obviously if i'm comfortable with you i'm just going to add you to my close friends it's really not a big deal the attention traps i don't know what she was referring to because if it was attention traps like why would she also be on the close friends if i just wanted that to be an attention trap i would only add guys i'm trying to get at I don't, I don't know but i post thirst trap on my public story so that everyone can see that um, the hoodie i'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies and i am sorry i just took longer to give this one back because it was really cute it's not because it, it was his hoodie and like i wanted to keep it longer and like i just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie it was literally because it was cute the sandwich is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, you and I both know, babes, that, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like we were living together too, me and this girl, we were living together, we were roommates. Um, so they were together, we were, us three were together in my room mounting the TV and like making jokes and making fun. And then like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted and he did it. So I was like, oh my God, like 
I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work. And I put it in the fridge and I was like, okay, perfect. We have a sandwich secured for you. Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils. Because why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil, you know? She came with him to pick it up. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about like me getting him the sandwich because it was like for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him. But I didn't care. It was just a form of expression. I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him. Left the friendship with the other girl together and villainized me. And now one year later, you come on TikTok to talk about it is so low. And why am I blocked? I literally saw the video. I commented and I said, let's not leave out details. Why'd you delete the comment? I'm, I'm sick of staying quiet. I'm sick of having to hear from other people. I heard this about you from her. We respected that you had your own perspective on things. But now that I know this is the reason, I'm so glad that you're not in my life anymore. Ooh, Where's the, guy, where's, where's the guy's part? So low key, <laughs> I looked into it, and the guy's—he's attractive, dude. He's an attractive guy. Like, he's like a personal trainer or something like that. So I was like, "All right, he's a good-looking dude. I can see why he had multiple girls looking at." But who do you guys think is in the wrong, and why do you think she is in the wrong or in the right or whatever? I think they're both wrong. Or why do you think they're both wrong? Like, why did it take? Like, on the first girl's video, she said months, but then the second... I mean, I don't know who's right or who's wrong, but the second girl said it took a year. Like, why did it take a year for you to, like, expose your friend on TikTok? Like, you could have just had this conversation privately and not get the whole world involved. Yeah. Both girls are wrong? Yeah, and then the other one... um, The first one, I think, it's like, if you weren't okay with certain things, you should have established those boundaries or you should have talked to your friend. Like, if that's your friend, you should be able to have difficult conversations and then this girl um do you think the second girl just overstepped boundaries that yeah what, what, what yeah mean? without like kind of reading the room okay yeah being mindful of those things okay the first girl i think was more wrong for like exposing the second one like that mm. um, okay but the second one it's like clearly like if your homegirl didn't like you being like too close with a f- her boyfriend for some reason then talk to her and then like just out of respect, why would you have, like, I would not have my homegirl's boyfriend's hoodie for that long, or even if they're talking, like, that's just kind of weird. That is weird. Yeah. That is very weird. Loki, that is weird. Yeah. That is very weird. That she kept the hoodie? Yeah, let's say, let's say, like, there was, like, another girl here, and let's say, like, we're dating, or, like, we're, we're, like, talking, and then she's had the hoodie since we were talking, or even if you knew as my, like, best friend, I've expressed interest in this guy, but you've kept on that hoodie, like, it's just weird, and then you're just, like, out and about not giving it back but then you see them wearing it that's even the if, weird part yeah even if you're my homegirl it's like okay if i let you borrow something when am i gonna get it back yeah true i think having the hoodie is not the issue yeah as, as much but the if principle. you're no no it's if you're wearing it like consistently and posting about it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And posting so about have it. it and just like have it in your room and be like oh i need to get yeah. that back but is different but to wear it constantly weird. multiple times like you know in that two week span is, is a little weird mm-hmm. Yeah. I have heard that when it comes to okay in in a um in a boyfriend and girlfriend or like a situation or whatever type of relationship with like a, two people male and female, I heard that women lo- like I guess it's a known fact that women love wearing their boyfriend's hoodies right or they love wearing the hoodies of people that they like. I heard it's like a pheromone thing. It's because that when you borrow a man's hoodie, you can smell him on the hoodie. So when you wear it around, you constantly smell him. So it's like gives you that natural like euphoria is that correct yeah and it's also it's nice it's like that's your man like, yeah that's his so this girl is like walking around in his hoodie smelling this man for for, <laughs> for that time for right that like does she wash it or not after oh, oh, good question, <laughs> she might have put her own pheromones on so he could smell it oh maybe that's why but what do you think Jesse? what do you who do you think is in the wrong uh i think that y'all are y'all are right i think that the fact that she kept the hoodie for so long maybe that's her game Maybe that's her game. <laughs> that re- give her a reason to basically see him. It's just still shady to do as her be- like that's your best friend and roommate. Mm-hmm. Like, why don't you just give it to your best friend? Like, here, give it to give this to your boyfriend. Yeah, if she says like, "Oh, I gave the sandwich to my best friend," it's like, and 
okay, where's my hoodie? <laughs> yeah. And they're roommates, so that means that she basically could have given the hoodie back at any time, too. Yes. But she kept it. So there probably is something to it. I think what she's saying is like the hoodie was there before they moved in together because they said that we were moved in together at this time when she gave him yeah, the yeah. sandwich. I think it's just weird because we've said this before that girls post stories for a reason, mm -hmm. right? Girls, and I mean, guys do too. Why is she posting? I'm just saying, I'm playing both sides here. If a girl posts, oh, I love this hoodie. It's so nice. She's probably like seeing if she can get the dude to respond. Be like, oh, how are you going to give me my hoodie back? Right? You know? I'm like, bitch, that's my hoodie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think she's trying, to, she's trying to bait this guy in to say something to, to her, her story. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> she, the, the, she, the, she was the first I, girl. But like, give, me my, give that man his hoodie back. But, yeah, but even like my example, like if I gave something to borrow to like the sick like to homegirl and she's like wearing it like on her story and she'll be like oh i'll give it back but then i i, I would kind of question like hey when you're gonna give that back mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah. Uh, put yourself in that girl's situation say you went with um one of your homegirls and you borrowed your homegirl's hoodie how long do you think it would take you to return that hoodie usually like right away um i've had friends that don't return stuff that they borrow from me like a year later, which is fine. I think it just goes down to like, if you trust that person, um, doesn't really matter unless if you really need it. And they don't go around wearing it all the time and post it about it, right? No. Okay. See, see, that's yeah, that, yeah. that's the part. That, where that's I'm a like, little rude. The hoodie is is very interesting. But the second the sandwich thing, she she said I gave the sandwich to the girl. Yeah, I don't think that's like okay. The yeah. stories like are weird because it's like if you have the hoodie but you're living together, it's like does that doesn't make sense like. Yeah. Are you talking about it before you guys moved in together or after you guys moved in? Yeah. Or like went your separate ways? I think the posting on the stories thing. That's that's the reason why I'm yeah. like I, I would show up at her door, like her bedroom, like hello, my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's the posting on the stories thing. This is trying to reel it in. I, think I the saw sandwich, a lot of comments. No. People were like, As my man, why would you mount her TV? But it, it was just some like well, pretty dumb. ridiculous comments yeah. like on the thread. That's, that's pretty hilarious. That's nothing. See, that's that nothing. part is stupid because yeah. like yeah. if if I had a girlfriend and her friend asked me to mount her TV and they're roommates, yeah, I'm yeah. already there. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. I, of course, that's nothing. Exactly. I right. agree. I agree with the boy, the guy's perspective. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna mount the girl's TV. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I think it's like when they make it malicious. Mm -hmm. Like if I like repaid, like oh like here you go and made it like shade like sneaky and. Secretive. Like if you asked them out to dinner or lunch, oh, here's my payment for yeah, like thank you without the girlfriend. Yeah, without you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's shady. shady. Yeah, yeah, you'll go yeah. like on a lunch or dinner date as a repayment yeah. for the TV without telling your friend. Yes. that's shady. Yeah, but she also said she gave the sandwich to the girl too. Yes, so that's fine. Yes, I don't see. I don't see. I guess that is not a big deal at all. This is the hoodie, the fact that she kept it and she posted it. The, the hoodie thing. And I don't know if the first person was true, was saying telling the truth now when she said she was talking about how she could see her getting along with a guy. I'm like, their stories just don't add up. Yeah. They sound like two different stories. The hoodie yeah. thing is bad, though. Regardless, what, the hoodie thing is bad. What I want to know is that she's talking about, like, she said that she was, I guess, telling people in the group chat. Was she in that group chat? No, she was telling people, like, or their friends or telling people, like, that they, that she could see her getting along with the, the guy. That was the girl's, her friend's man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, babe? So do you think, weird. I guess, the second girl with the hoodie girl got the hots for the dude? Probably, yeah. I think she's just being like kind of disrespectful, like indirectly. Like, okay. I think scheming. so too. Yeah. yeah. I think she she low key and I think she's just validating herself by doing it. Yeah. But it's still to hold a grudge and like 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 <laughs> Like why I would guess, you put it on blast for a year when clearly in the second girl's after, story a year after Yeah. Petty. She petty whopping. Which yeah. one? The yeah. first one? The first girl. I think she said that she posted a year a after. A year this, after. But she blocked the second girl. So the second girl had to hear it from friends. Yeah. So it, it clearly it's just like, if you had an issue, but you're too afraid to say it to my face. Hey, why'd you wait a year? Yeah. I don't know. Say that shit with your so that's what I'm saying. It's just petty drama that she wanted to stir up. So uh, the first girl petty, the second girl trifling. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we're saying. Wrong. The dude's probably sitting back like. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You say he's a good looking dude? He's a good looking dude. Hey, if you're watching this, bro, you a good looking dude. I can say that straight yeah, up. Those girls are going to come for us now. <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> hey, y'all both trifling? I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> both, Yo, you're both kind of on the <laughs> Thoughts, Brad? Any thoughts? I mean, same shit. All right. All right. <laughs> hoodie now, gate. <laughs> I said hoodie gate. That's what hoodie it is. Gate. Hoodie gate. <laughs> now, every time I'm like, 
when you give me this back? <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you give me that? And it's like you said, though, like every single post, like I think you said every single post that a girl makes is for a reason. That's where it gets like kind of like what you like what you said. It's like she's probably fishing for that. When yeah. I'm gonna get my hoodie back. Mm-hmm. When I'm gonna get my hoodie back. Mm-hmm. So 